See the kid back with another video. Alright, let me move that. I don't need this. Okay, so from the title of the video, y'all already know what we're doing. For some people that don't know, I'm polishing rods. Okay, so basically, this not done. You know, that just me taking off the stress riser. You feel me? Go all the way down. So that's what I did. I took off all the material right there. Now, before y'all come in here and start flaming, if you don't know nothing about this, I advise you to go Google it, do some research on YouTube because the professionals actually use this too on stock rods. Like, you got your uh, I-beams and you got H-beams. These would be considered I-beams. And I-beams have seams, most of them. You feel me? You see this right here? This is a seam. So, normally, for like a budget build, They'll uh, take all of this down and it'll look like this. You feel me? See, this not even polished. It's just me taking down the material first. So, we're going to get on to that part. Now, you'll go from 60, uh, 120. I don't even think I hit this with 120 yet. Okay, let me. I done did majority of the work already. Let me see if y'all can see the difference. Now, I already hit this with 120. I ain't even hit it with the 240 yet, and that's this. I got lucky finding this. Um, some of y'all stores might not have this. I, I got this from um, Home Depot. So, normally, you'll have to order the 240, but I got lucky. I got the last pack. Hopefully, I'll be able to do all eight of my rods with this. That's how many I done been through. This is the uh, 120 and the 60 grit. I think I had a sorry brand. That's what y'all see right here. Hyper tough. It sucks. You feel me? But yeah, that's what y'all want. These the stuff that you'll need. Now, with this, I already have a brand of Craftsman. So, only thing I had to do was buy this. This was 53 and some change. And it came with this. It basically came with everything I need. It gonna come with um, a pack of this right here, actually. So I end up getting this, and I think um it got to be like 35,000 RPM capable, something like that. I'm not sure. Y'all got to look that part up. But yeah, man, so we're going to go back to this part. So normally, like for a budget bill, this is what they'll do. You know, they already said, well, I ain't going to say like they, but most people have ran these factory, like without this on there. I meant, damn. I got this backwards. It's with this on here, 1200 horsepower. I mean, I think I don't read, I don't know how many I don't read, but I know right now there's a car that goes over a thousand horsepower with the stock, you know, what's the name, without them even doing this part. So you can imagine how much power will be added on from just taking this out. But yeah, man, if, if y'all don't really know what this is for, I advise y'all to do the research before you even do it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to get into the video. Okay, okay. Now, this is like day legit. I say about like day seven. Because I only got but one battery and I be having to, you know what I'm saying? 
plug it up, let it fully charge, get back to it, or I have to resume another day. Now, I didn't get the um, sanding part with the 240 grit. I didn't get that sanding. Or I didn't get the polish, I went ahead and polished. Now, this is the polish I use. It works amazing, like no cap. Got this from uh, Harbor Freight for 544. That's the after tax. So I really recommend this right here, like this to kill it. Like the mid right here, I should have just saved one, but I try, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up and finish this so I can get it back to the machine shop. I know I had about a month, but this is after I took out the um, lines. Now I still got to go back over this with the uh, 120. Now mind you, when y'all take off the what's the name? The um the seams right here that go on the side. Don't dig in it too much because that 120 is gonna be the material you have to remove to get to whatever weight you're trying to get to. So let's just say you're gonna use get your lightest rod, right? Take off your material, you know, do these down with the 60 grit, then you're gonna hit it with the 120 to get all the scratches out. And a guy told me to hit it with the uh, the 340, but I didn't have that. So they got like this um this pack that comes with like the medium, I think the medium course. You got your course, medium course, and you got your fine. I um put a picture up so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Now he said use that, but I didn't have that, so I really recommend that. I see a lot of people use that, so use that. But what I did for what I have, you know, the 60, 120, then the 240. So you're gonna use the 120 to remove the material cause as I see right now, I use the 120 to just take out the deep scratches. Now, when I did with the 60 and I weight, I weight mashed it, don't weight match it yet with the 160, just remove the material and go, I say get probably like a few grams close to the ideal weight because when you use the 120, that's still going to take out materials. So y'all really got to play with it. That's why I kind of messed up that. So, um, yeah, you use that, then hit it with the 240 because the 240 really ain't going to remove that much material. So you got to kind of like, I want to say it needed to be at 602.5. I end up using the 60 to get to like 602.8. Then I used the 120 and that took me it took me all the way down to like 601 at 699. So it's like you gotta be careful with that. So now I'm gonna have to go over my polished one <clears throat> and weight match that to another one I did. So this how this look. You feel me? This without the polish. So you can get an idea. And this is the polished version. Whew! Yes, sir. Look, just little fingerprints right there. But yeah, man, that's. I'm still not done. I really gotta. I got all of them left. But yeah, let me try to do a side by side comparison. Those spots y'all see them are on my hand prints. Like it's that, it's that polished that is leaving my hand print on there, and I like that. You feel me? Y'all see the difference. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. You feel me, man? Y'all, if y'all like this video, if this video was very informative, please give it a like. You feel me? Comment, tell me what you like and dislike about the video so I can know what to do better for my next video. You feel me? Oh, and we up, man. I think the last time I dropped the vid, I think I had like 270 subscribers, bro. We got 301 subscribers. Let's go i got seven i think it's 700 seven eight nine I had to count that but i got 700 more subscribers until i hit a band you feel me then we monetize then when i get that bread i got hella more bills y'all know what's going on man y'all got to keep tuning in with the kid but until next time man like the video share if you haven't subscribed you gotta subscribe and you gotta hit that bell man i'm out